uh, Historical Keyboard Association. Thank you so much. Um, and so today's program is called Music That Moves the Passions. And so um, for Baroque period, this music were believed, um, they believe musicians and just very passionate music can move people's emotions. So if you're sad, you might listen to something a little bit more upbeat and you're going to become happier. So, um, but I have a lot of sad music today. I'm not trying to make you sad, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just trying to get you into that kind of aesthetic. So every single piece, every single movement, there's one affect. Um, and affect is kind of a broad term about emotions. Uh, so what you just heard was a fantasy, um, uh, like Toccata, but then there's a lot of fantasy-like movement. Um, basically, one idea flows into another. So next piece also by Bach, uh, Fantasy and Fugue in A minor. So the first set, uh, the first part, which is the fantasy, you're going to hear this recurring thematic materials that comes back three times, and then it has like a different kind of rendition every time, but you should be able to recognize the thing every time. And that's kind of like, um, I would say pretty passionate, um, a little bit on the sadder side. But then the, the fugue is really interesting. It's actually one of the very um, remarkable double fugue. So some of you are probably <coughs> music students. Uh, so fugue is one subject, and you can have this in many different voices. Um, but the double fugue means there are two different subjects. So I will try to play those subjects really, really, where you can maybe see from my which is body language. But at the end, after the two, um, two subjects each have their own introduction, they kind of fuse together at the end. Um, so I'll talk again before the handle.
the next set uh, is a suite by Handel. Um, and you are going to hear, um, it starts with a very fiery, um, very almost a little bit aggressive prelude, and then followed by a fugal section. So Handel is German, um, and he's really trying to write fugue, but this is not the same kind of fugue that you hear from Bach. It's a little bit different, a little bit looser structure. Now, and then we have two dance movements. Um, uh, Alamon is a slower dance, and a little bit faster dance, the courant. And then we have a little aria followed by five um, variations. Um, and then we end with a little uh, really fun piece, um, a, a really upbeat dance at the end. Um, and so hopefully you can follow along. It should be on the program. Thank you.
right there. Um, the next two pieces, actually, I'm going to talk to for two before the end. Um, so the next two pieces by François Couperin, French composer. I think this is the only French pieces I have on the program. It's very different. Um, at this time, French music is very much inspired by lute, like the guitar. So it's a lot of strong, like it's a lot of like rolling and things like that. So it's less kind of contrapunto, like what you have heard from Bach or Handel. Um, the first one, the Ida Hose, can be um, translated as happy thoughts or happy memory. Um, but it's really interesting because uh, Kupran's rendition of happy might not sound that happy to you. <laughs> it's actually pretty uh, kind of sad. Or maybe he's thinking about the good memory and becomes sad. So this is the first piece. You'll be like, really? This is happy memory? Um, and then the second one, La uh, Gachmier, uh, um, is actually, he's ded dedicated this to one of his contemporary organists. Um, but then it's almost like a love song. So I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, sorry, don't quote me on that. Um, but I heard it from someone else. This is actually kind of a, uh, it's a lot of like loving emotions in this piece, but I haven't done enough, enough research, so don't quote me on that. Uh, the, next, um, the next set is um, a sonata by Mar uh, Mariana Martinez. Um, and she's a little bit later. And she was actually not Spanish. Um, she's got the uh, Spanish descent, but she was actually um, uh, grew up and then was mostly based in, uh, based in Vienna at, during her lifetime. And she was actually Haydn's one of Haydn's students. So one of the earliest uh, woman composer, and she actually wrote pieces for harpsichord, for forte piano, and even I'm not sure whether it was the earliest, but one of the er definitely one of the earliest harp circle concerto by women. So that's one more piece if you're interested. So hope you enjoy. I'll talk again before the last piece.
I hope you can feel the heat in here already, because the last piece, I promise you will not forget this once you've heard it. It is dubbed the Baroque heavy metal piece. <laughs> <laughs> At least what I, that's what I heard. Um, so there's not much introduction to it, so just enjoy. I would say this is a very fire piece, and if you're on move after this, I'm doing something wrong. So let's talk after a concert. Thank <laughs> you. 